as you say, a big, huge, preponderant percentage of, of the fandom is female, you know? And I think, just look at this movie. Bella gets married. She has a honeymoon. She has sex for the first time. She gets pregnant. She gives birth. She dies. She becomes a vampire. All in one movie, you know? Um, take out the vampire stuff and things like that. Those are really... Well, those are all touchstones in a woman's life that are played out against this genre story, you know? And I think that is so rare in our, in the way that we tell movies, you know? All the, all the again, all the parts of a boy's adolescence are, are endlessly covered and, and uh, examined, you know, in, in our mainstream movies. But women don't get that. The novels are so beloved and they're so carefully read and reread that everybody comes into a movie with a complete idea of what it should be, you know. So, to, and you know, as you know, I got involved early on as we were shaping scripts and things like that. And it really, you did feel this responsibility to try to try to give people um, a sense of their favorite moments. But also, a lot of it has to change because film film has completely different demands. So it'll be interesting, like you know, the wedding. You know, Bella gets married. You know, so so every reader knows what that wedding should look like, and you just hope you get to the essence of something uh, that, that matches up with their idea of it. But we'll start with forever.